Foothills Parkway missing link is finally connected. The bridges are complete and now crews are working to finish the final paving and installation of barriers. This work is scheduled for completion in late 2018. The Foothills Parkway was authorized by Congress in 1944 as a 72 mile scenic corridor from Chilhowee in the west to Interstate 40 in the east. Three sections had been completed in the late 1960s, sections A, G, and H, and visitors can currently enjoy these scenic areas. But lack of funding ceased the construction of section F in the 1960s, and funding was still stagnated in the 70s. Work began again in the 1980s with section E between Wears Valley and Carr Creek but structural fill failures and environmental issues suspended the construction in 1987. The result was a 1.65 mile section of road void of a road corridor, the section that has come to be known as the Missing Link. The National Park Service shared with us the story of how the Missing Link has now been connected. My name is Mike Tomkowski and I'm the National Park Service Project Manager for the construction of the Foothills Parkway. I've been here at the Smokies since 2002 and I've been working on the construction of the parkway ever since. In 1996, the National Park Service completed an environmental assessment to evaluate how to complete the missing link. The selected alternative was a series of bridges and fills and in 1999, construction of the missing link resumed. The first project awarded was the construction of bridges 9 and 10. Bridges 9 and 10 were constructed from 1999 to 2001, and then construction beyond that has been piecemeal, working on only the sections of the missing link that we could afford to do with the funding available at the time. We did not have total funding to complete the missing link in one contract. Construction has been slow going up until 2009. President Barack Obama in 2009 had unveiled the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, also known as ERA. That was the shot of adrenaline that we needed to obtain the funds to complete the missing link. Up until 2009, we had only completed three bridges and one small section of road to close the 1.65 mile corridor. In 2009, we were able to secure $32 million in ERA funding to put towards the award of Bridge 2 on the missing link. Bridge 2 is the longest of the nine bridges on the missing link. It's roughly 800 feet long, four span bridge. It's what we call precast segmental construction. Really fascinating project. The 800 foot span is comprised of 98 precast concrete segments that are tensioned together. It was a cantilevered post-tensioning construction technology, very similar to the way the Lynn Cove viaduct was constructed. All of the segments for bridge two were cast in strawberry planes and then individually brought to the project site on a trailer. From that trailer, they were then hoisted into position by a large blue gantry crane that was specially made just for that project. Bridge 2 was completed in January 2013. Concurrent with the construction of Bridge 2, we were also able to secure funding to award a mega project to construct the remaining five bridges to close the missing link. Those bridges are a little bit different construction. They're what we call cast in place post tensioned. For those bridges, we built a series of false work under the actual bridge to support the work in progress and the bridges were cast in place in sections. Construction of the missing link has been very difficult for several reasons. It's not like we're building a road on a flat stretch of land, like an interstate. We're building a road on the side of a mountain and working in the park service are all very conscious to limit our footprint and disturbance to natural resources. We've gone to extraordinary efforts to minimize the actual footprint of construction. That adds to the cost 
it adds to the complexity and the difficulty of actual construction. But we have been successful. We've worked around the natural resources within the construction footprint to only impact those portions necessary to support the structures. The construction of the missing link has been long and ongoing for almost 50 years, believe it or not. And now here we are, and all we have left is the final paving and installation of the barriers along the 16-mile corridor before we can open it to the public. The work to complete the final paving is scheduled for completion in late 2018, and shortly thereafter we're going to be able to open sections E and F, the entire 16 miles, to the visiting public. There's going to be 33 miles of contiguous parkway that visitors can drive from Chilhawe all the way to Wares Valley. It's really a marvelous road corridor, essentially what's going to seem like driving along the treetops or in the clouds. It's a very scenic, beautiful corridor, and I'm very proud to have had the opportunity to be part of its construction. 